Okay, I'm going to start in the back and work my way to the front. Anyway, here's my install on the back side. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I put a piece of tape here because the uh, wire loom runs out and I didn't want the connection here to be hanging down and exposed into the elements. So I didn't want it hanging down here. So I, I taped it up and I also have a leak path if, if water does get in here and it goes in the wire loom. Of course the wire loom split. It, it should leak out if, if it goes in the wire loom at all. So there's that. Then I have the connection. And <laughs> I noticed the tags. The original wiring has a date on it of December 2015 and the new one the new light has a date of August 20th 2021 <laughs> when I installed it <laughs> pretty cool anyway so then I have the connection it's actually free but the wire is tied up around the uh, light installment bolt over here on the other side let me get around there and look at that all right let me zoom in here and this is the left bolt that holds the light on. You can see I didn't cut my wire tie yet. I just did a wire tie to uh, hold the connector up out of the way. Uh, you can see these veins here. That's a uh, heat sink because, you know, it's going to get hot even though we're out in cold weather. So I, that's how I just kept all the wiring up and out of the way. Nothing fancy going on there. All right, and here's the front of the machine with the light installed. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this segment and put it in front of the install video and delete my install video. Uh, and that way I can show you the light running. It's 5.30 in the morning before Christmas. I'm going to take it outside, fire it up, wake up the neighbors, and uh, show you the light. Now, brightness. I replaced the halogen light with this light before I either realized or learned that it was, it is just a, gosh, I can't even think of what to call it. It's just a warning light. So, in other words, the halogen light, and possibly this light, is not to shine, it's not a headlight, it's not to light up the way for you to navigate. It's like a reverse light to inform others that you are there and potentially coming towards them or that they are potentially going towards you when you are backing up for your backup lights. Because your backup lights do not light up the back of the car for you to see where you're going. That's, that's not their purpose whatsoever. And so I think the original halogen light was designed when you're out there 5.30 in the morning like it is right now snow blowing and a car goes by he sees the light and knows that there is someone there you know like reflective clothing or whatever so we'll see how bright it is and we'll compare it to my floodlight which I installed on the front of the snow blower and that light is <laughs> that light really is bright. It's it's tremendous. It's about 5,000 Kelvin, uh, which means it's in the white area. Uh, 2,800 is kind of yellow and 6,000 is blue. The 5,000 range is kind of white, which is a mixture of kind of many colors, but it also seems the brightest to my eye. And it really floods the area so I'm probably gonna have to take a towel or something and cover that up so that I can uh, show the uh, Aaron's LED light uh, separately so there's no uh, interference from the two beams 
Okay, I hear the rooster crowing, and uh, we're out here, 5.30 in the morning, going to wake up the neighbors. Uh, maybe a car will go by or something. I can see the LED light right here. I'm going to have to get a towel or something to cover it up. And then the errands, whoops. <laughs> the uh, errands light is going to be up to the side here Let's see I can't can't get my finger in there so we'll see we'll fire it up get it going take a look at it all right well this is why I don't make flashlight videos because it's really difficult to really show how they are but they're the two lights together let me cover up the uh, accessory so I just show the Aaron's light. Alright, there's the Aaron's light by itself. I have a towel over the LED light and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move the camera and position it so it's uh, looking forward so that we're behind the light. Okay, if you want or need a headlight, you're going to have to install an auxiliary system. I did a video on that. I put a box in there with a rectifier and showed how I wired that up. Because the engine generates AC and you need DC. If all you need or want is a warning light, like a backup light like I mentioned earlier, then uh, that is better but I think Aaron's has to deal with the legalities of all the states and what they can get away with because you know if you're in I don't know let's say New York and doing your sidewalk and a car drives by and is blinded by your snowblower and crashes you know they could blame you I guess I don't know I have no idea I don't know all the laws so anyway uh, it's better than the halogen it it broadcasts a little bit further but I want the floodlight so Anyway, that's what I did. Uh, I do like it though. It's like 45 bucks. Between 45 and 50. I can't remember. I think it was free shipping. I, I can't remember. It's been a while back. But I will put the install video on the back of this one and delete the install video. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, wait a minute. Let me install it. <laughs> I've already opened it. I cut the uh, tape off, looked at it, inspected it because I wanted to make sure everything was okay before the driver got away from me. They sent me two packing slips, <laughs> um, cord, hardware, instructions, which are hilarious. I read them online. And then the part itself. Again, I inspected it to make sure it was okay. And I guess the AC to DC conversion is all going on in here. So here's the mounting places. So There we go. Kind of has some futuristic kind of look to it. Almost like a... <laughs> sci-fi movie robots eyes kind of <laughs> look to it all right it comes with new hardware of course the light and the connector and the instructions are kind of uh, funny uh, you know it's just check your inventory uh, stop the unit remove the key 
wait for the moving parts to stop and the hot parts to cool yeah because you just ran it uh, disconnect the wiring harness remove and discard the two screws and remove and discard the headlight assembly so you gotta throw them away sorry about that then for installation it says connect the wiring harness to the plug and the light and then screw the light on uh, with the screws provided do not over tighten all right let's get to it okay it's mid spring and the snow blower is away all right I have the machine in maintenance mode because that makes it easier to get to the light I can zoom in here my camera down, the screws are exposed. One here and here, and the wiring. So let's get to it. So to remove the wiring, I think I'm going to remove the light bulb. So let me do that. All right, I'm going to take the light bulb off the wiring harness. I've already staged it. was actually kind of tricky getting both of those unlocked at the same time. So am I not following instructions right out the gate here? Let's see. Yep, it's idiot proof, so that's that. Hopefully I was on camera. Also, I am going with eight millimeters I like what was in there silver and gold <laughs> I'm going back with what was factory so I'm not going to follow instructions they're both uh, coarse thread for going into plastic uh, I call screws like this plastic screws even though they're made out of metal meaning that the finer threads typically go into like nuts and bolts and these really coarse threads typically go into plastic Okay, as soon as the second screw comes out, I have my hand on the back side because it can fall right out. So I just have my hand on the back side to catch it. And it's going to be the same thing for this guy. Of course, if I followed the instructions, <laughs> it says to pluck it in, which will help because that way it won't fall to the ground. Now I know I'm off camera. Here, let's go like this. All right, that was easy. I actually like that I have slack, so that's a good thing. Uh, for right now, I don't know how I'm going to take that slack out. I'll do something, uh, but I'll probably absorb that slack later on at the junction box. All right. All right, the screws look identical to me, so I'm going with the uh, factory OEM gold as opposed to the silver that came with the project. Or they came with the accessory. All right. Let's get this in. Oh, 
was pretty easy. Definitely have to do something with this wiring. I'm probably going to feed it down. I'm going to extend the wire loom cover and uh, feed this down and uh, stuff it in the junction box for my other LED, uh, which reminds me. I sincerely apologize for not firing up the machine and showing you how bright it is or how dim it is <laughs> or how dim I am for spending 45 bucks to put that on there but it is spring and I've already drained the gas and it's four o'clock in the morning I'm not gonna wake up all the neighbors which also reminded me that you know I'm out there four o'clock in the morning in the winter time when it's snowing <laughs> I don't seem to care about waking up the neighbors but unfortunately, this go around, I am not going to put gas in it and fire it up and wake up the neighbors. So I apologize for that. Um, I'll do another video in the winter. <laughs> Look forward to it. You know, subscribe to my channel hit the notification so you know what I actually fired this thing up and put a test the light <laughs> you know, nine months from now anyway uh, so there it is it looks okay you know it's not as bad as the original light here how did that thing go like this light a little bit out of camera there it is compared to the original light which is so lame you know that I put on a front light which is fantastic. I really like that thing. It's down low. You know, this one is kind of over top of the machine. So, you know, it doesn't light your way. It's it's more of a it's more of a warning light, you know, for oncoming traffic or whatnot. You know, kind of like your reverse lights. Your reverse lights aren't to light up the area so you can see and go backwards. It's They're warning lights for other people to know you're in reverse. So it's kind of, kind of like that. So we'll see how this turns out. See how bright it is. See if it just lights the engine and discharge chute. Or whether it is actually a decent beam of light where you can navigate with. All right. Well, that's the video for now. Thank you for watching.